in the efforts to promote transparency and also curb corruption within the public infrastructure construction, the Inspectorate of Government Department is very much committed to working with COST, a voluntary organization that promotes transparency within the public construction. The Director for Education and Public Awareness in the IGG's office, Rereza Joseph Jules, says they want to fight syndicate dealing within the construction sector. We will be able to disclose in formats that are accessible and the extent that allows for authentic citizen participation. This way, citizens will be in position to access and use information and where appropriate, provide us with feedback. With the bribes, often accounting for almost 10% or more of the contract price. The effects of mismanagement and corruption are especially hard, are especially hit hard on the poor citizens who are the most reliant on the provision of public services. Once a public construction project is compromised at any stage, it results in failure to perform. Anything corruption in the construction sector um, or in any other sector is usually a gradual process. This cannot be a one-night activity that you can talk about. But with respect to cost and our initiative in trying to promote transparency and accountability, the construction sector, the starting point is the disclosure of information. Once you disclose the information to relevant stakeholders, the private sector, the government, um, the civil society, and other relevant agencies, government partners, surely, in the process, this will have a multiplier effect. Information afterwards, it is processed, and we look at the accuracy, we monitor if it is compliant with the standards. Is enough information there or not? We are happy to find that actually what you had started and sort of you know, developed called FIT, the Ministry of Works, which is the home of the whole construction in this country, is coming in to embrace us. Because we have talk together, we have, we have agreed that we can work together. Honorable Nathan Ibyanyuma, the chairperson for COST in Uganda, says their role is to provide relevant information about the different construction projects geared to benefit the public who are the end users of all these projects in the country. We are presented with a unique opportunity to work with citizens in a constructive way. To make the public aware of government work and facilitate citizen engagement for this work. Three, my ministry and agencies under its supervision have already been publishing project data. However, we have not been receiving feedback on how things are going from the public. Costs, costs three core values, disclosure, assurance, and the multi-stakeholder engagement we hope to address the challenges in this sector. As the lead agency in this sector, the Ministry of Works, it is my pleasure that we, that together with other departments and agencies, we have initiated this move and we hope to work together with the coast and we welcome you to the country. At the national level, we with the exception of Guatemala, is not normally registered as a legal entity at a national level. Um, so therefore we need an organisation who is registered as a legal entity um, to provide national secretary support staff, um, to be able to uh, manage grant funding, etc, etc, procure. And Lack of awareness among the public has also been identified as a great factor that has slowed infrastructure development. Gilbert Senduga of AFIC says it's high time the public comes up to enforce their constitutional right of seeking for public information regarding the different construction projects in Uganda. Most of the engineers we have now, Mr. P.S., I think you better you have to request you to do a lot of homework, fish out a number of engineers, bring them back the main form so that we can become one family and work together. We must take advantage of all initiatives to work on issues of transparency, value for money and development because these are impediments to 
development of a country. This was said during a stakeholders meeting held in Kampala discussing how best they can promote transparency, value for money, among others within the construction sector in Uganda. Abdel Latif Mkasa, Record TV, Kampala.